there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this dumped up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This. The unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. What next, Peter Quill? Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I help in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is, Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Whoa! You gotta see this <clears throat> Behold, Lady oh. Hellbender's wrath. Slimy. Even the Chitauri feared her. They uh, didn't fear many back guys. then. Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. <sighs> oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? <sighs> and jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some schmack breach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Clark, Clark, Clark. Quill. They I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scut like this. Just, could you, just, please, the guns let me, alone. Let me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. DNA code in the is some kind of morphing nanite or sorcery. Here we go again. Ah! It's it 
Ice Cube! That's fun! We're so happy for you and your guns as well. up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible! Will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer. You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Uh, I cannot hold it forever. I did it. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we got to get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Mark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> Yeah, and dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Yes, sir. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, man. Another Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again, and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. 
I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodman without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Huh? That is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste. Buzz. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into buzz. that fortress with our... With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Uh, the the more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem oh, is, there's a pissed off monster way. inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it, because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True. 
but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Yeah, way worse than usual. I swear, Quill, that's the last time I follow you through rock pool. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. Drew, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to go. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas blast. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blob monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna mark. Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are oh, you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting a flark and things looking like the main business. Groot, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I gotta. Drax. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy? Menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. Have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time. 
Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. For the love of Lark, stop counting clicks. Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Oh, that was fast. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know... I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like... Butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe.
I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. How are you getting to the movie? Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. Could really use a voice of reason here, Peter. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I trust her with your life, too. Just not with Groot. Hey, me. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is, you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got no her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen what was tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. 
Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No I stand correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find you once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with Groot. Gamora knows what she's doing. She'll find a map or something. Because I'm the navigator, right? Then navigate yourself out of my way. I'm taking my tracking device, and I'll get him out myself. A Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's... Surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. They have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of them. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Then. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. 
best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Groot, he's the best monster you could buy. Either you pay us what he's worth. Rocky Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Well, you want to buy Drax? Not buy, invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. 12,000 for the Flora Colossus, then. 12,000 is not, not really that hard. bad for a Flora whatever deal. 12,000 units it is. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. Some of my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, I'm just a robber. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. 
Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing Scotty father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. That's not what I said. We're not pimps, Rocket. And the plan is going just fine, as is. Still, you could have strung her along a little, gotten us closer to Groot or something. I'm not used by sexual magnetism deceptively. Spoken like someone who's never dated. Not everyone has to trick someone into a date. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this babe is paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, such. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time when Onsara? Ha! <laughs> remember no such time. Before your days, muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakar. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door find the room. Prefer these halls where they're not cluttered with drunken bouts. Am I good or am I good? options. Hey, remember that time in Antlows on Nowhere? Tracker says, ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. You sure that tracker is fixed? I told you, it ain't broke. I don't like our whole plan relying on some trinket. Well, unless you're hiding a map inside that jumpsuit, it's the best we got. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. You think you could have made more noise with that? Of course. But you did not ask. Come on. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, the primary and secondary relays are connected, you sarnooks. The tone conveys negativity. It means if one fails, they both fail. That does seem negative. Oh, it ain't great. Uh, here? Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Doesn't take much to impress you. Switch this. Done. This one. Oh, here! Yep. This one goes here, and that one goes out! You okay? Yeah, yeah, you just focus on them junction points. Okay, here. And here? Got it. Ugh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. Do not die in that hole, Rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. You're all heart, Drax. My heart is only a small component of my anatomy. You said it! Switch this. Done. Ah, oh, this thing is a mess. There's wires everywhere. 
Have you seen the Milano? Hey, those are much more organized than they could be. It ain't my fault I ran out of them zip ties. This one. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, here. And here. Got it. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. Kinda nice for a change. Please. You get bored if it was all smooth sailing. Remember the cargo run for the Hanchi? I remember you nearly jumping us into a black hole. Where's my point? The exciting bits are what stick with you. What the... Piece of scut! Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Just... Heads up, more guards. I'll give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocky, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure as scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. After freeing the tree. No, he wouldn't. Maybe we should hurry up. Rocket, wait for us! He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. With this place and no railings. It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey, 
Let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, it's way more than was. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Oh. Uh, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen is... I don't know. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. Hey, come on. Talk to me, bud. What did that Bedouin Flarker do to you? Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them!
make me surf on the inside! What's next, Peter? Now! Swing! Past time zone got stabbed! She's not gonna let... Guys, huddle up! He says we're totally outmatched. We need to retreat. And as much as I don't want to admit it, Groot's got a point. The odds are totally against us here, Quill. I don't care about the odds. I laugh in the face of gods. We're here, and we're ready to fight. So let's get back out there and light up the night with those creeps. Who's with me? Let's do this! Feel this! My great strength will under you! Bring me Nasha! Everybody grab a bike! 